So it's time for a new EDC update. Let's start off with the wallet. It's still the Maxpedition Urban. So let's get into the contents of this. Some of the things have changed. So here's the contents of the uh, wallet. Still got the Extrema Ratio, the TK Tool 2.0. Still one of the best investments I've made in a while. Got a Fresnel lens. A uh, signal mirror, which I mainly use for looking at myself because I'm constantly getting things in my eye and I'm getting pricked in the face off of rose bushes and whatnot. For some reason, that does not want to stay on the paper. Water purification tablets, the expiry date and everything written on the back. Enough there to purify, I don't know, two litres, I think. Blah, 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 one time. Yeah, enough there for two litres of water. A uh, little ferrocerium rod. Uh, plasters or band aids. Really running low on those. A uh, little spider core bug. And this here is the fishing kit. So I think we've got about 30. 35 feet of 30 pound spider wire and about 15 feet of 5 pound braid and then we've got some small packages here so the black one is for salt water and these and this 5 pound line is for fresh water so here's the fresh water uh, fishing kit, got a few flies, buzzers, nymphs. I'm not an uh, expert on fly fishing, so I'm not exactly sure what the flies are, but I picked them based on what I've seen a lot of fly fishermen use in the local river. So, those are the flies that I've picked for the kit. And I got some little tiny uh, 14 size hooks and uh, some 5 pound uh, mono. And that's pretty much the fresh water kit. So for salt water I've just got a couple of circle hooks and like I say about 30-35 feet of 30 pound spider wire. And that's pretty much it. So as far as knives and multi tools go, this is pretty much all I ever carry now. On the keychain I've just got a little Victorinox SD Classic. Uh, Multi-tool, as usual, is the Victorinox Spirit. And this I don't carry everywhere. This is just a work knife. But this is the uh, Spyderco Native. The CPM S30V steel blade. Made in USA. It's very nice and very sharp. And that's pretty much it for the cutting tools and multi tools. So now for the flashlight, it is, surprise, surprise, the Olight M10 Maverick. Would it be anything else? No. The best flashlight I've ever used, and I have absolutely no. Um. What's the word I'm looking for? I fucking hate it when I have brain thoughts. No plans to change it in the foreseeable future. Wasn't a hard word to get out, but for some reason my brain just didn't want to fucking say it. So that's the flashlight. So watch, it's still the Casio G-Shock. I don't think I'm going to be using anything other than Casio G-Shocks, to be honest. I can never remember the model of this one, it's the GA100MC. And that's pretty much the watch. Still got the Velcro straps on, which I still hate. But uh, they'll be coming off soon. 
So a pen and a notepad. When I need one, I never have one on us. And when I don't need one, I always have one on us. So I usually put it away and then when I never have it, I always need it. So I'm going to stop fucking around and I'm just going to start carrying one all the time now. So pen and notepad, Max Edition Decantha and the Right in the Rain notepad. So a Swedish Army Light My Fire Ferrocerium Rod. Been carrying one of these for a couple of years now. Comes in handy every now and then. I just like having one. Peace of mind. And uh Table Flame Military Model Lighter. I like it. Never let me down, never had any leaks or anything with it. A lot of people seem to have leaks with these, but I think they're pretty much hit and miss when it comes to the quality of them, but I got lucky with this one. And uh, lastly, the phone, still the Samsung, Sony, Xperia. I've actually been having a few problems with this, but I've learnt a few tips and tricks on how to fix these, which is what I'm going to do right now, actually. Might as well. It's just a real quick, simple trick on how to fix these uh, problem phones. So pants. Yep, gonna talk about my pants. So these are 511 Can't remember the model of them. There's 511 Tactical Series. I bought five of these and I've been wearing 511s ever for over a year now. Not these particular ones, but uh, these are the ones I had on today covered in mud. Uh, I saw some reviews on these before I bought them on YouTube and they were saying that they're water repellent, waterproof, stain resistant. Uh, well, they're not stain resistant. Uh, they're about as waterproof as a sponge. Uh, they're not really water repellent either. And they are very fast drying though, so I do like them for that. And as you can see, I do carry a lot of shit. And this has tons of space in the pockets. And uh, yeah, I really like these pants. So that's my pants. And that's pretty much it really. Belt is a top Sierra, which I'm wearing now, I'm not going to take it off. But uh yeah, I think that is my ADC gear. Yeah, it's everything. So that is my ADC gear for the new year. Hope everybody has a great new year. Thanks for watching and goodbye.